Well, about a year ago, I was looking for a different kind of uh, hobby. Oh, I've collected and hunted out in the pastures and stuff, arrowheads all my life. But I was getting uh, to the point I really didn't want to get out in the pastures and dodge rattlesnakes all the time for a hobby. And I wanted to pass on some information and stories. And my daughter said, well, why don't you put stuff on YouTube? So she set me up and showed me how to do it. And so last year, in April 2009, I started my, and made my first uh, video, little clip, if you will, and put on YouTube. And I didn't think anybody to even bother to look at the stuff. But over the year, I have made 48 videos and put on YouTube. And uh, shocked, to say the least, that 13,000 people have looked at my videos. And I'm honored that you have. And I hope it gives you a bit of information and maybe a little enjoyment. Since this is April uh, 2010, uh, I thought it was appropriate to tell you my tax story. You see, when I started my candy truck, the smallest store in Nebraska back in 1983, I had never done my own taxes before. I'd always hired it done, but money was tight. And so I decided to do my own taxes. And I did them, and I didn't fudge, I didn't add to, I didn't play games. Uh, I did the very best I could to pay every penny of tax that I owed. And uh, I did, and sent it in. And six months later, I got a letter from the IRS. And they were fining me $300. And the reason? I didn't pay quarterly. Now, that year, I had three friends that were on welfare, and all three of them, each of them, made more money than I did off of my little business. And yet, I had to pay quarterly, they said, and since I hadn't, I had to pay a $300 fine. And I thought, well, you know, the, the, the nice thing would have been to say, okay, you got to do it this way from now on. Because they got their tax money, I didn't cheat them out of a penny. Be that as it may, they demanded it, and they were going to charge me 2% interest a month on the fine. Fine. And you might tell yourself, well, you got to live and learn. you got to follow the rules. Well, there are 158,000 laws on the books. Be that as it may, though, what really frosted me then and to the day, it still bothers me, uh, is that the that year that they fined me $300 for not paying quarterly. Oh, I paid all my taxes. That year, Egypt, the country of Egypt, couldn't pay back the $5 billion loan that it had borrowed from the American taxpayers. $5 billion. And the government of the United States, your representatives, they said, that's okay, just forget it. To another nation, $5 billion, forget it. I pay all my taxes and I get fined $300. Now you know why there's a lot of people that don't like the IRS or the government in general. This is McCook's Mr. Bill. I hope you subscribe to my future films and look at uh, some of the past ones because there's uh, all, all sorts of them out there. Uh, thank you very much.